Hey boys and girls, today we're going to talk about the energy flow through an ecosystem. Talking about food chains, food webs, energy pyramids. Okay. Energy for life begins with the sun. That is really, 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 really important to remember. Everything that we need comes from the sun. Energy comes from the sun. Green plants, they use the raw materials and light from the sun to make glucose. They do this by photosynthesis. We talked about that last week. Light, energy from the sun, water from the ground, from the, from the, um, by the roots, absorbed by the roots, and carbon dioxide from the air produces chlorophyll. Chlorophyll then gives off oxygen into the air the excess is converted into starch, which is stored in the roots and the other areas of the plants, the leaves and the plants, okay? But that energy is called glucose. Producers, we talked about producers. Producers can make their own food. That's the whole thing. A tree, corn, part of a green plant, they make their own glucose during photosynthesis. Uh, producers are also called, auto, called autotropes. You'll learn about those later on, probably next year, the year after in science. It's a, just a little bit more higher level term. So, but remember, producers make their own glucose during photosynthesis. Um, a chicken, just because it produces eggs and produces food for us, they're not considered a producer. They're still a consumer. So even though somebody on their homework the other night, the other day, put the chicken as a producer, I thought that was kind of funny because, yeah, in a way they are a producer, but no. Producers, they make glucose during photosynthesis. That's the definition of it. Just because they produce food for us to eat, cows are not producers. Chickens are not producers, okay? Producers keep and use most of the energy they make for themselves, okay? Uh, plants, they keep most of the energy. It's actually a 90% um, formula. They use 90% of the energy they take from the sun and from the water and from the carbon dioxide. They use 90% of that for their own growth, and they only 10% of that gets released into the air as waste. Okay, the energy that is not used by producers can be passed on to organisms that cannot make their own energy. We call those consumers. So if you eat a plant, you're considered a consumer. All right? So consumers eat the producers. Consumers, organisms that cannot make their own energy. Okay, that's the definition of them. So Energy is used for keeping our body temperature up, growth, okay? Consumers are also called heterotrophs. You'll learn about that again later on, okay? But a consumer, an organism that cannot make their own energy. Consumers that eat producers get energy. They're called first order or primary consumers. Um, that's later on. There's first order, second order, third order. It, it goes all the way up the food chain. But for right now, we're just considered concerned with consumers eat producers to get energy, okay? Um, if we eat only plants, we're called herbivores. If we eat meat, we're called omnivores, right? No, omnivores are both. So carnivores, carnivores eat meat. So you got omnivores, herbivores, and I forget, the, well, yeah, we just talked about it. Anyways, most of the energy from the primary suit, the primary consumer gets from the producer is used by the consumer. I talked a little while ago about 90% of it. So when you eat something, 90% of that is kept in you. You use that for your everyday life and survival. Okay, you don't have to know that, but it's just interesting to me. Okay, some of the energy moves into the atmosphere as heat. We also produce our energy, keeps our body temperature up. Um, does that in animals too. Whales, 
they have a little low, they have a layer of fat that they store that energy in and that keeps their body temperatures up that's how they can live in cold weather or warm weather so remember that we use our energy to conserve our heat and to make heat for our bodies to keep us warm okay the food chain very 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 important too no matter where you are on this list okay energy comes from the sun into the grass producer grass is the producer the first consumer is the grasshopper grasshopper eats the grass the little shrew down here is called the secondary consumer he eats the primary the grasshopper and then the shrew gets ended up eaten by the owl okay and the owl is called the territory consumer the third order okay so that's the food chain that's a considered a food chain sun is the primary remember that sun is the first one on your list no matter what your animals are so if we have let's um we'll use the example of a human eats a cow the cow eats the grass the grass uses the sun so it'd be sun grass cow man okay so remember that energy comes from the sun for everything no matter who you are down to the little shrew here uses that energy okay to transfer energy from the sun to the producer to primary consumer to secondary consumer to territory consumer can be shown in the food chain just like we did sun to the plant the grasshopper frog eats the grasshopper hawk eats the frog and the hawk's pretty much at the top of the food chain okay so that's what we call a food chain transfer of energy energy goes from the sun to the plant plant to the grasshopper grasshopper frog frog to the hawk okay another way of showing the transfer of energy is called an energy pyramid you just have to remember pyramid square base okay as it goes up the sides go in and in and in so 90 percent of the energy rabbits eat that they use 90 percent the snakes eat the rabbits they use 90 percent the hawk eats the snakes they use the hawk gets 90 uses 90 percent the rest gets re, re, uh, released okay but it supports the smaller sec number of secondary consumers so it just goes up or down however you want to look at it all right here's a food web all interconnected food chains are called food webs okay the deer eats the grass okay and there's a fox fox eats the rabbit it's all interconnected the hawk eats the bird the bird eats the the grasshopper the grasshopper eats the tree the tree gets its energy from where the sun you got the grass down here with the grasshopper the little shrew the fox okay these people at the top are called the top consumers they're at the top of the food chain all right here's another example of a food web everything's interconnected tree the shrubs the grass they get their energy from the sun photosynthesis okay i'm going to say it again they get their energy from the sun photosynthesis so water the sun okay creates energy rabbits eat the grass hawk eats the rabbit mountain lion can eat the rabbit rabbit also eats the shrubs okay mice eat the shrubs shrub the mice gets eaten by the snake it's all interconnected all right so that's what a food web and that's what we're talking about everything comes all our energy comes from the sun so when you think about your food web think about first thing you're going to have is the sun then you're going to have your trees or your grass or whatever then you're going to have your smaller animal then your medium animal 
than your larger animals. So it goes up the, up the chain or up the web, okay? So that's it.